Hey guys, how's everybody going? Um, so this is my first tutorial in a long time and there's, as I said in my last video, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, first is that I have been studying, I'm just studying um, a Diploma of Specialist Makeup Services in Melbourne um, and that I have very little free time between working and doing photo shoots and um, homework and school and projects and everything like that. Um, second is that my camera has completely died and my boyfriend's camera, as I just discovered now, is just about to die as well, <laughs> which is very unfortunate. So I'm waiting, hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll be able to get a new one. And um, yeah, so this is, I tried to do it and then just as I was about to film the intro, the camera died and um, the zoom is not working and it won't turn on or off. So yeah, it's not working out very well, but I did manage to film this one and it's been working fine, I think, until now. So we'll just have to have a look at the footage and see whether it worked. Everything has a slight um, pale and blue tinge to it, which I discovered last time I was filming the little intro. So I've tried to do um, things like my contour just a little bit darker, but I don't know how those colours are going to pick up. So um, hopefully the photos will pick up a little bit better and I can tweak them to make them a bit more accurate. But anyway, if you like the look of this one, please um, let me know. If you have any requests or things you'd like to say, let me know. I really like doing request videos. Stay tuned and see how it goes, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye. So to start off with, I'm using some of my HD um, Graftobian palette. I just mixed up some colours in my shade, and I'm applying that all over my face, including my eyes and my lips. If you want to, you can also add a little bit of a peach colour underneath your eyes that will neutralise the blue. I'm then sealing it all over with a light pressed powder just to seal everything and keep it in place. When you put it underneath your eyes and on your lids, remember to just pat out the cream first so that you don't have any creases. Now I'm taking my white gel liner from Inglot, which is a waterproof liner, and I'm just applying this on my lid as a base. This is a really, really good product and it'll keep things completely waterproof that doesn't budge at all. Now I'm applying a light eyeshadow across the upper portion of my lid. And this is just to seal it in that gel liner, stop it being so sticky, and to help my eyeshadow spread a little bit when I blend. The color that I'm using on my lid now is 31 by Inglot quite a neutral tone but it has a little bit of very finely milled glitter particles or shimmer in it. Just pressing that all over the lid up into the socket. Now I'm using number 27 which is a really light gold on the inner corner and just underneath my eyes and my waterline. I'm using these two matte colours in my crease just to give a little bit of definition. I'm just using sort of a medium sized bullet brush to put that in my crease. I'm not taking it all the way down to the corner. Start to blend it out with that with what's left on that bullet brush and then take a bigger blending brush just to smooth and soften everything out. So the colour that I'm using now is sort of a deep burgundy colour again with a little bit of really finely milled glitter or shimmer particles in it and the colour is 55 by Engelot. I'm just pressing that into the outer corner of my lid. Actually using the same brush just the reverse side of it. If you want to give a little bit more definition, you can take an angle brush and just use a black or dark grey colour. Just give a little bit of shape, work that in the crease. And then if you need to, you can go in and deepen that colour with the 55 again. I'm just going over the top of that again with a slightly smaller brush, using that number 55 colour just to tidy it up and deepen it a bit more. And then I'm taking my um, liquid liner, which is Stiletto by Maybelline. Just lining my upper line, a little bit of my lower line, lower lash line as well, not winging it too much. If you want, you can take a small angle brush and again using that number 55 colour, just line a little bit underneath the eyes just to match up where that gold and where that darker colour is. And then I'm filling in my brows. You can use whatever you normally use. I like to use a pressed eyeshadow in my brow colour. And the colour that I'm using now is number 395 by Inglot, and this is just sort of a creamy colour with a bit of a frost finish in my brow bone. I like to apply it with my fingers. Curl your lashes and then apply your mascara. 
make sure that you go down on the tops of your lashes first just to make sure that you get all of those or all of the fallout from the eyeshadows and then go and apply as normal from the bottom I'm using Honor by MAC just a contour I like this one because it's not too orange it's more of sort of a taupey color um, I just think it creates more of a natural sort of look for contouring so I'm just applying that under my cheekbones and any other areas that you like to use it. I like to plot in the color um, and then once I've got most of the product off my brush, I'll go back and, and blend it. Just use a light pink color as your blusher. I'm using one from Inglot. I don't know what the number is. Just any light color will do. I'm just using these two top colors here and my little shimmer palette from Inglot just to highlight. So I'm applying that on the top of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and then a little bit at the top of my lip as well. Then go in and line your lips. I'm just using a NYX color. Um, I believe the color is just called neutral, but it's a really natural light colored lip color. It doesn't really matter what lipstick you put over top, it's never going to clash with anything. It's my go-to color. Line your lips and then fill in your lips as well and you can just smudge it out with your finger or a cotton tip or a brush. And then I'm using a mix of a couple of colours. Now the ones that I'm actually using for this is, this is just a mix of number 25 and number 13. They're both quite light neutral pink tones. So put those on and then you can go over top with a clear lip gloss if you choose to. The one that I'm using is just a one called Thin Lizzy, which my mom gave me. <laughs> That's the look guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked.